Hey, cats and kittens, chicks and chickens, it's your buddy Mo. Like it and welcome to another World of Warships game replay. We're going to take a little walk in the Tier 8 Premium U.S. Battleship, the USS Massachusetts. A lot of you might have gotten this ship from the Christmas crates. I've had it for a while. Uh, this was a game happened a little while back that I wanted to feature, and I've just been getting busy and life's been taking me over. I love the mass. It is uh, a North Carolina-like, Alabama-like battleship, except it has those long-range secondaries. And all those secondaries don't always do the most damage. They are so fun. It is just fun, and it rattles the shit out of your enemies. It makes them make mistakes. It makes them not want to get close to you. Even though at the end of a game, like at the end of this game, I had over 200 secondary hits. It was only about, it was less than 20,000 damage. Um, overall, not a lot of damage, but it does add up. And this was a game where the enemy team just all ran to the border. And I'm just sitting here going, okay, I guess I'll just keep pushing. And this cute little Duca, God bless him, he decides to come at me with his AP, which makes no fucking sense. But hey, he's doing it, and, and I wish him well. And I wonder if he's going to try to get his peds off. Yep, yes he is. That's a nice broadside, buddy. Boop! The CV's trying to drop me. Um, I'm AA spec on most of my battleships, um, at least with the BFT, AFT, and all. I don't do manual uh, AA on really on anything. But if if a CV comes at me, bro, I want to be able to punish him for doing so. We've got a Nagato and a Turpitz on the other side of this island over here, and I was going to go engage them. I wanted to sneak up, but man, this CV popped up, and he's been on me. He's been pestering me. So we're going to have to take a shot at an open water CV when we have the opportunity, am I right? We've got to. Oh, we get a nice hit on him too. That's nice for the damage total. Now, the Nagato and the Turpets can see me, but I don't know where they are. I know the Turpets has Torps and the Turpets is a little bit low health, and I know the Nagato is full health. So let's just take a little walk. Let's just take a little walk around the way. Oh, here comes the Turpets Torps. Okay, I've dodged those. And hello, Nikado. That's a nice broadside. Ooh. Ooh, how are you feeling about those choices, huh? How are you feeling about those choices? I'm still not sure where the Turpets is. Now I see the Turpets. He's lower health. I'm going to put my secondaries on him, and I realize, shit, I'm broadside to him. And I don't know why he didn't fire at me with his back turrets. He's backing up. I'm guessing he just wanted to get a full salvo on me to try to take me out, but I'm perfectly broadside. He should have taken the shot when he had it. Oh, I hit him pretty good, and the secondaries finish him off. And because I was able to turn and get angled to him just enough, I took very little damage from him. However, had he shot when I was flat broadside to him, I more than likely would have eaten a Citadel or two and uh, not had the health that I do to deal with this Nagato. And this Nagato, bless his heart, uh, you know, I got the 16-inch U.S. guns, man. Uh, as you can see, oh, 25K salvo as he's running away. He, I, I pen every part of him. There's nothing he can do. There's no angling he can do to bounce anything that I'm going to fire at him, especially at this range. The CV's coming at me, bro, again, and my secondaries are just popping off starting fires, harassing, driving him nuts. I, I like the little ambush that he set up for me, but unfortunately, it was never going to go well for him. I don't even worry about giving him a little broadside. He's not going to have the alpha damage to really, really hurt me. I am still healthy. I had a heal coming. Everything was fine. Nothing to really worry about, but I'm still going to angle at him. He died from my second, a fire from my secondaries, and now we've got this CV just charging at us as this game is clearly, clearly in the bag. 
This is what happens when your team all runs to a border. You know, I had no competition, nothing to stop me from just walking up here. And in those situations when that happens, you can roll out some really fun games. Everything happened the way it needed to happen for me. I was able to dodge the Turpets Torps. The Turpets decided not to shoot at me when he had perfect broadside. The CV is going to kill this, kill steal this CV from me, which robbed me of my Kraken. But I'm not going to complain because our CV was all over the enemy's planes and did help me with the planes when he could. Um, his fighters were buzzing around me a good bit in this game and gotta love him for that. This Atlanta is just doing Atlanta things. I mean, it's great that he's shooting at me. It's awesome. It's cute. I know he's doing a little bit of damage, but in the end, he gets rocked and boop, I rock him too. I don't take him out, but he's got taken out just enough that my secondaries are going to finish him off easy peasy as he starts to take shots from the uh, destroyer behind me. He is done. Close quarter expert number two. Just a just a nice little walk in the Massachusetts. 190,320 damage, 219 secondary hits, 30 planes, two close quarter experts, dev strike, high caliber, four kills. Number one on the team because that's Mo like it. Woo! What a great game, guys. God, this was a fun game. This ship, when it wants to work, is just so good. And you can see there, the damage total, you know, what, 24,000 some change? Like, just, the secondaries are fun, but they really don't do a whole lot of damage. Now, if you add in the fire damage, I did pull off maybe about 40k with just my secondaries. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Send me anything you want to moreplays at gmail.com. And as always, nothing but love from Mo to you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your others. We'll see you out there in the seas, kids. And we will talk to you soon.